Hello guys, my name is Gavin and this will be a tutorial on how to create a timer in the Blender game engine. I will be using a little bit of Python and I'm just going to get started. To start off what we're going to do is double click the A button until everything is selected and hit X and delete. Hit 7 to go in the top view and do spacebar and then add a text objects. So spacebar add text. Let's drag that off to the middle. Alright, let's then go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender render to Blender game. And with our text object selected, let's add an always sensor. Always sensor, sorry. Click these first three dots. Add a Python controller. Like that. And let's add a game property. And this game property will be a timer. And I will name this just timer like that. So our timer will be named timer. Let's then add a script by doing templates, Python, and then game logic simple. Dragging this out and deleting the portion that I have highlighted. Hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. Let's rename this to script.py and add that right here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is actually just for the moment, I want to show you guys what the timer will do. So let's have own.text is going to equal own timer. Actually, I'll put a string version of that. So it's str own timer. So when we do this, we should be able to see our number is going up right here in the middle, like from zero, and it goes every second higher and higher. But what we want to do is have us that this timer will count down till zero, and then quit the game once it reaches zero. And also we want to have it so it'll only go to two decimal points, since all those extra decimal points are kind of unneeded, or unnecessary. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to delete this part really quick. We're going to have a countdown timer, let's say from 5 seconds to 0. So what we're going to do is have time amount is going to equal, and let's have inside parentheses, 5 minus own timer. That, and let's just display that. So S to our own text is going to equal a string of um, time amount. And we should see that it'll go 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 0, like that. So now have an if statement so that once it reaches zero, so if time amount is less than or equal to zero, what we're gonna do is have bg.logic.endgame like this. So we can see now that once it reaches zero, the game should delete should end automatically. And it did. But now what we want to do is just round it off to two decimal points. So what we're gonna do is have time amount is going to equal round like that. And make sure this is all inside parentheses, since we want it to round off this number. Actually, just to make it easier um, to understand, I'm going to cut this. And I'll just have a variable equal to time is going to equal to that. The time is going to equal to this. And the time amount is going to be equal round time. And then the two decimal points. So the time variable up here is going to be equal to the 5 seconds minus the timer. And the time amount variable is going to equal to the time rounded off the two decimal points. So we should see now that it looks like this. You see once it reaches zero, it'll delete. Alright guys, so that's how you make a simple timer in Blender. Hope you guys found this useful and I'll hold out and I'll um I'll scroll out so you guys can see this text really quick. Grab it. And there you go. Alright guys, hope you found this useful.